Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today I'm going to quickly discuss the best blood pressure levels for total health and longevity. And I'll start with uh, a question I received from Linda and she asks, Dr. Sam, my blood pressure levels are all over the place and my doctor has me on various drugs to lower it. Before the drugs, I was around 160 to 180 systolic. With the drugs, I'm around 120 to 150. Sorry, I don't remember the bottom number. Unfortunately, I feel horrible with the lower blood pressure. Shouldn't I feel better? Honestly, I felt fine with the higher blood pressure. What's the best blood pressure levels for me? Now, this is a very important question because a third of adults over the age of 20 have high blood pressure. And the older we get, the worse the numbers become. For example, over 60% of the population over the age of 65 has high blood pressure. And for women, it's even worse because of menopause. Sadly, 70% of the population doesn't even know they have high blood pressure, which greatly increases your risk of death by 43% in addition to other health ailments. Now, before I get to Linda's question, here's a quick chart on blood pressure levels. Now, what you see is that anything in the red that's over 140 over 90 is considered high blood pressure. And the yellow zone is better, but it's still a problem. The ideal range is in the green zone, which is less than 120 over 80, and I prefer 110 over 70. Now, the reason I like it lower is because studies have found that the lower, when it's lower than 120 systolic, that top number, causes 43% lower risk of cardiovascular disease, 38% lower heart failure, 27% in less deaths, 25% in less deaths from first heart attacks, 17% lower heart attacks, and 11% lower strokes. Those are huge numbers. So the lower is better, and as long as you feel fine, and I prefer this to be done naturally through specific diets and exercise and supplements. Now, getting back to Linda's question, she says she feels worse with the lower numbers because I think it's because of the stupid drugs. I hear it all the time. So that's the first thing I want to point out. Secondly, she stated that she felt fine when her levels were higher. Now, this is another problem with high blood pressure. You feel fine because there aren't any real symptoms. That's why it's known as the silent killer. So if you want to live longer, lower your blood pressure levels to below 120 over 80 is a huge benefit and a necessity for total health. And I would honestly skip the drugs and try to do it naturally. Now, below this video, I've got some, I've got a link to another video and other topics uh, about how you can quickly and naturally lower your blood pressure levels. So make sure you take a look right now while it's fresh on your mind. And that's it for today. Now, I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and leave your questions and comments below. And make sure you click the links below for natural improvement solutions for lowering your blood pressure within a few short days. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.